My name is Paul Georgi, and I'm a Director of Sales Engineering here at XM Cyber. It's my privilege to show you our breach and attack simulation capabilities specific to the LogForge vulnerability I'm sure you've heard about by now. Our attack simulation platform allows organizations to determine not only where the LogForge vulnerability exists, but if there are the right conditions for it to be exploited and the risk it introduces to other assets within the environment. I'm going to start by showing you a scenario I've created targeting a couple of machines that the XM Cyber platform has identified as running Java. You can see creating a scenario is really easy where the only two things I need to define are breach point and critical asset. In this scenario, I want to simulate an attack originating from this Windows 7 machine named Elizabeth, which will be our breach point, and the target, our critical assets, will be this group of two machines running Java. Now that we have our scenario defined, I could jump into the battleground where we will gain insight into what's possible from an attacker's perspective. By filtering on just my critical assets, I can see they were both compromised, and by clicking on either of them, I could see the inbound attack graph visualizing the steps an attacker could take. I can interact with the attack graph or use the log view on the left to see what happened. The attack started when a machine named Steve sent a broadcast looking for a proxy server. This was real behavior observed during our simulation, designated by the color green, and allowed Elizabeth, our breach point, to simulate a malicious response leading to the compromise of that machine named Steve. From Steve, we were able to use Bluekeep, an RDP-based vulnerability, to compromise a machine named Mainframe Ops. Finally, from that Mainframe Ops system, the right conditions existed to allow the log for shell vulnerability to compromise the DC customer's DB system that we had identified as a critical asset. We have many out-of-the-box reports relevant to this scenario, but I'm just going to bring your attention to one called our Entity Report. Within the Entity Report, a few details about the system are presented up top providing context. The same inbound attack graph we reviewed in the battleground is also displayed here for our review. If there were additional inbound attack paths, you could choose them from this dropdown. When other machines are at risk from this specific entity, you'd see them listed below here along with the accompanying outbound attack paths. The main value from this report is the remediation section here at the bottom, giving recommendations and insight on how best to address this vulnerability on this entity, including additional information like file paths, network ports it's running on, version information, and more. Thank you for your time and feel free to reach out to us if you're interested in seeing how our platform can give you the same insight into your environment, either specific to LogForge or any of the other many use cases.